All right, would someone like to move the GVS and DD agenda? Moved and seconded. All those in favor, opposed, carried. Minutes from June 24th? Moved and seconded. Any questions, errors? All those in favor, opposed, carried. We have a consent agenda in front of us. A few things on there, five things on there. Would anybody like to remove anything from consent? Director Brody. Uh, 1.4. Thank you. Anyone else? Seeing none, anybody, someone like to move the consent, remainder of the consent agenda? Moved and seconded. All those in favor, opposed, carried. Uh, Director Brody on 1.4. Did you want to move it first or do you want to? Uh, someone else better move that one. <laughs> All right, it's been moved and seconded. Back to you, Director Brody. I'm not saying that the issue of cigarette butts and tobacco and all that isn't, isn't important to us and to the country. Um, but I'm just wondering, is it our mandate to ask staff to do extensive research on any item that may be of importance or interest to a particular locale? Um, I mean, doesn't the mandate of this group come into play at some point. And I just, I'm just asking the question, uh, I find it hard to support this uh, because I think it's so far out of the mandate of, of Metro Vancouver. Thank you. Alternate Director Buchan is pinch hitting for... Buchanan. Buchanan, sorry. <laughs> I don't okay. know why I read that wrong on the small screen. That's okay. Sorry. Um, yeah, just don't tell them I forgot to move it off the consent agenda. Um, <laughs> so I, I am speaking on behalf of uh, Director Masada, who's Chair of Utilities. And um, uh, while this motion is coming from utilities, it actually does have some implication and some relevance to uh, the Zero Waste Committee as well. And when we look at... Uh, <laughs> uh, you're on your own. <laughs> When we look at uh, non-smoking legislation and policies and bylaws in our municipalities and with the decrease in the number of receptacles that are available to those that still smoke in our municipalities, we have far more people smoking outdoors and without those receptacles are actually putting their tobacco waste or their butts onto municipal streets. And when the tobacco waste is then carried from the streets, whether it be through rain or through our uh, street cleaning in through our uh, stormwater systems, they eventually end up in our creeks and rivers and, and our waterways. And, and they also end up in our sewage treatment plants. So tobacco waste, um, it isn't just the butts, but the tobacco waste can, still contains the same amount of carcinogenics as, uh, which makes it the leading cause of preventable death, and that's my public health nursing side. But still the heavy metals in the butts and the receptacles in terms of the filters, when they're soaked, all those carcinogenics do leak out into the leakage into the, to the water and could potentially have a toxic, significant toxic environmental impact. The filters actually do not break down um, completely. With UV light, they may break down into small particles, but the actual plastic still remains into, into the waterways. Um, and the numbers are not insignificant. They are the most littered um, item in the world. They estimate approximately almost five trillion cigarette butts make it onto their onto the beaches and waterways worldwide and in our city alone of 50,000 it's estimated with our audits 87,000 cigarettes are smoked each day with 6.3 million of those uh, provincially landing on our streets and then into our rivers and our beaches so there are many substances in our wastewater that we have to deal with including pharmaceuticals herbicides pesticides etc and so I think um, and we're, we're attempting to deal with um, making our environment safer. So from the utilities perspective and from um, Mayor Masato or Director Masato, you know, he feels it's valuable information to know. So what's being asked of staff is not to do the research himself, but actually just do the liter a literature search to see if there is a negative impact or effect to our environment because of the tobacco waste and are, are we handling our waste in the most uh, healthy manner, manner or do we need to make changes in how we are uh, doing our practice and do we need to do a better job of how we deal with uh, discarded cigarette butts uh, in a, at the metro region. 
Thank you. Excellent. Thank you. Director Clay. Um, said I wasn't going to speak to this, but since uh, our, my good friend from Richmond pulled it off the consent agenda, I will. Um, what bothers me about this is uh, first that this was brought on table at the in, uh, utilities or at the uh, yeah utilities committee meeting um, with a sense of urgency that I don't believe exists. Um, it was the report that's attached to it talks about a refund uh, tax on cigarette butts, but doesn't talk about the impact. And the, the motion that was made about effects on aquatic life, I believe the comments that we just heard, um, like me, um, have already reached the conclusion that cigarette butts are not good for aquatic life. I don't really need a lot of studying of that. Um, the last fish that I saw smoking uh, was on a smoker, and it tasted divine, <laughs> but it uh, wasn't good for it, I can assure you. Um, I, this, to me, is bordering on, on, a, on a nonsense motion where it's like we're trying to backdoor a different agenda. If we want people to stop smoking, that's great. If we want people to stop littering, that's great. But getting staff to spend time researching the effect of cigarette butts on aquatic life, let's just assume that there's something wrong with cigarette butts for aquatic life, and let's get on to what are we actually trying to accomplish here, because this, is, this to me is just wasting time. So I will be opposing it. Thank you for your comments. Director Becker. Yes, uh, thank you, Chair. Um, I'd like to thank Alternate Director Buchanan for articulating Director Masato's position. As, as Vice Chair, I, I felt that I would have to do so without having any conviction um, behind behind the motion. I, I echo the, the comments of, of Director Clay. We received this with no, no warning on table at the last utilities meeting. It, it received the most perfunctory of, of discussion. Um, I didn't support it then and, and I don't support it now for reasons uh, state, stated by D Director Clay. In, in addition, I think it's, it's nonsensical to believe that a deposit on cigarette butts is going to result in a, a massive return of cigarette butts to our local return it depots. Um, it, it makes no sense to me. I think the, the underlying raison d'etre for this is, is certainly laudable, reducing littering and, and reducing smoking. But, but to suggest that, that Metro should get involved with this, A, I don't support, and, and B, on, on the basis that a, a deposit on, on uh, cigarette butts is, is a way to go about accomplishing these, these laudable goals it may, makes no sense to me. And I didn't support it at committee, and I won't be supporting it today. Thank you for your comments. Director Jordan. Uh, thank you, Chair. Uh, as a member of the committee, I did. Uh, support this, although when it was initially brought forward, um, I had some of the, the same concerns that Director Brody expressed, and I would say that our discussion at committee was far from perfunctory. It was quite, <laughs> quite heated and quite a dynamic discussion as far as I was concerned, but anyway, through that discussion at the end of the day, I decided to support it, and the reason I did was because Having gone on a couple of tours of our um, sewage treatment plants and things lately and been like amazed to see how tough those little cigarette filters, which I am a smoker, I confess, are that get through the system. And at the last exit, they're still floating along down, you know, down the pathways because they're really hard to get rid of. So if we're studying um, wipes and the implication for us, if we're if we're looking at all the kinds of things that implicate implicated by various forms of waste and what that has to uh, impact, it has to all of the systems that we do control. Um, at the end of the line, I supported this. Uh, I was uh, I was told this financial implications are, are not significant and it was, as is stated, a literature review that would give us some framework to say what additional things uh, that we might want to undertake as this impacts our solid waste and, and our, our liquid waste within the region. So I believe it may be a bit of a stretch, but it does fit into um, the mandate of our utilities, and so that's why I ended up supporting the resolution, and we'll do so today. Thank you for your comments, Director Walton. Yeah, I, I have more of a concern that we're spending all this time talking about it. I'm, I'm, um, 
I think to me it's a reasonable thing. I mean, if, if I asked my wife to do this, who, who retired from UBC and has access to a lot of research stuff, she'd probably have 10 articles on my desk in about an hour and a half. Are you making and, an amendment to the motion? <laughs> Take the word staff out and insert your wife's name? I'm just saying. That might not go too well. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just saying do it. I, I'm, I don't know why this has to come through this committee. Just it's up to staff and the committee to provide direction. I don't see this as being a huge task to, to get that information, do a quick one, one or two page summary and get on with it. So I'll be supporting it, but I, I, I don't think we should be talking at length about it. Thank you. Thank you for your comments. We have no other speakers. We'll call the question. All those in favor? Opposed? The motion passes. You want your vote recorded? All right. All those opposed? Hold your hands up because we got to take notes. Okay, we're good, thanks. All right, um, all right, resolution to close the meeting under 91E and I. Moved and seconded, all those in favor, opposed, carried. Motion to adjourn, moved and seconded, all those in favor, opposed, carried.